In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on Gravity Fitness's weighted vest. This is the 30 kilo edition. However, we're going to be going through all the pros and cons of this vest to see if it's the right vest for you. Let's get straight into the video. So we've got the vest here. Let's crack it open. I doubt we're going to need much of an un unboxing, but we'll just have a look what comes in the box. It's a fairly heavy one. So the one that I've got here is the 30 kilo one. This one was 139 pounds. You can get it in a 10 kilo one though. I think that one's 79 and then a 20 kilo one is 99. I went for the 30 kilo because, well, it gives a little bit more progression. I mean, at the minute I'm playing around with 30 kilos anyway, but I wanted to trial out a different type of vest. So, there we go. And you can hear by the loud thud, just how big this one is, but how simple it is. So obviously with these ones, it has got little weights in there. So again, you can be careful of those. So you can actually, let's see if there's any more of them. So you can then, I'm assuming, I could be wrong, I'm assuming, yeah, so we've got five, 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 and I'm assuming on the back as well. So each one of these is gonna be like a pound or a kilo weight. And obviously then you can determine with your progression. And that's probably what's quite nice about this is that in some cases when you're doing say weighted pull-ups or weighted dips, sometimes using a traditional, you know, dip belt or if you're using plates, they might, you might not have all the little plates. I've got a couple here, but they can be quite expensive for what they are. Um, so the fact you have that in small increments means you can make jumps up up there. So it sounds like it's expensive, but you're not only getting the vest, you're also getting the weight too. So what I will be doing in the future, and I highly recommend subscribing, getting turning on notifications you hear, but if you've seen my channel before, this is the Kenzui Easy Vest. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get this is I wanted to compare them. It's been a long, long time since I used a traditional weight vest. And back then, they weren't the most comfortable. A lot of them would restrict your movement. Some of them, certain exercises you wouldn't be able to do safely with them. So sometimes like handstand push-ups. Obviously then I got this, it's the Kenzu Easy Vest. But the problem that you have with this is that this is plate loaded. So you'll have to, when you pay the money and this is the max version, the pro, um, the max version, this is a lot more expensive than this, but you don't get any weights with it. This one is probably gonna be better for people that already have weights or maybe you go to the gym and then you're fine and obviously you plate load it all and that's great. However, you've then got to pay extra money to have the weights if you're not already at the gym. This one, you're paying the money and you get the weights included, which is really, really good. So let's have a quick look what these sort of ones are like. Is Okay, that's quite cool. Don't know what materials we made of, but except we've got little one kilo plates, but it's quite cool. It looks like you've got, what are these are for? This could be something to strap it around. Yeah, these look like the sort of thing to, yeah. So obviously you flip this over and then you'll have a, a strap that I'm assuming that you're attached to so you can tighten it around your waist so it stays secure. What I will be interested on is if you can do handstand push-ups with these, what it's like doing stuff like box jumps. That'll be what's interesting. I'm assuming here you've got some little hooks on here. I wonder if that's one of those ones where if you've got a pull-up bar, if you've got something you can hang on, maybe like a carabiner, you might be able to actually strap these on and then you can get inside of it. So it's a little bit easier because for some people, this might be quite uncomfortable trying to flip this over and putting it on your shoulders. But we'll give that a go now. We'll try and get this on and see how it goes. I'll have to move the camera. <laughs> So what I got here is, if I double check and show you how to set this up, you've obviously got these and how you use them. So obviously I said that they're there for strapping on the lower portion, but what you do is you grab this hook and you'll see like a little Velcro bit on there. Put that on there. Other way like that. And then you strap it down. Same on the other side. strap it down and then this actual velcro bit actually just make sure it's going the right way you 
straps onto the back of the actual vest. So when you actually bring it round, it'll attach and then you tight, you tighten up. I'm assuming then you can then strap it on there. So that's how we attach that bit on there as well. So this is the vest, actually really, really comfortable. At the minute I've got, of the 30 kilo capacity, I've only got 10 kilos on and you wouldn't even know it. It felt really comfortable. I had a bit of a thing with the strapping system, but at first I was like, oh, it won't, doesn't seem to go on very tight, but you've got the, like, these little straps on here where you've got the little D-rings on here and you can literally just strap it so it's nice and tight, but it's actually really comfortable. And other vests I've used in the past have been quite blocky, especially here. So if you want to do push-ups or pull-ups, it's digging into your arm, but actually there's, it's only until you come here, you can actually feel it here. And again, this is the, the 30 kilo one. The, the 10 kilo vest actually has less pockets. I don't know if the overall size of it is smaller, but obviously it's got less pockets. Same with the 20 kilo one, because obviously it's got, this one's got 30 slots to have 30 kilos. But for most people, 30 kilos is going to be more than enough because you've got to think, you may not be just using this for pull-ups and dips and push-ups and that. You might be using it for hands and push-up. You might predominantly where you might need the extra weight is if you're doing leg training. So again, this would be really nice for doing lunges. Again, it doesn't come down too low. So overall, like I said, it's 10 kilos. doesn't really feel like it and it's actually pretty comfortable. So see how it feels with, again, I've got these dips. Again, if you like these dip bars, these parallel dip bars, this is the ones from Gravity Fitness as well. Again, Awesome bars, highly recommend it. I have got a review on them already. Make sure you check them out and uh, see how these feels here. Yeah, super comfortable. Isn't really, that's what you find with a lot of these is sometimes as soon as you go down, they come right up here and they kind of choke you. These actually, there's a slight movement up. Plus obviously my arms are coming up slightly but it's not choking you. So it feels comfortable here on the pull-up bar. Comfortable there. Again, if you want to do chest to bar pull-ups, still easy to do. Obviously the movement has been reduced a little bit because obviously the vest is now in the way. So for any of you that want to do chest to bar, this now will be a little bit easier, but it isn't getting in the way or anything. Feels comfortable. I said other vests might restrict the movement at the arms, especially the overhead, but really comfortable and nice. Like I said, 10 kilos for a lot of people, that'd be a really good weight to use. Comfortable and easy. So what we'll do is we'll have a look, see what it's like with push-ups and what it's like with potentially handstand push-ups. Does it slide and cover your throat? So a great test for weighted vests to see if they really do fit well and hold their shape is if you can do handstand push-ups. I know for a lot of people, handstand push-ups might not be the top of their list when it comes to using a weighted vest. However, for any of you that want to progress with your shoulder strength, hypertrophy, handstand push-ups are a great exercise. So if you can progress that with a weighted vest, it's a really good way to progress using handstand push-ups, getting bigger and stronger. So we'll see how it feels on here. Make sure it's nicely strapped up. So far, seems to be staying in position. Doesn't move and doesn't restrict movement. So past the handstand push-up test, so that's really good. So next test will be push-ups. What you'll find normally with a weighted vest is, depending on how big and bulky they are, they might restrict your movement to, they might end up just touching the floor. So when you go down low enough, you're not really lifting the weight anymore. So we'll see how well this sort of sticks to the body, whether it restricts movement, it's all. Feel a little bit of stoppage, obviously it hangs down a little bit. Obviously the more weight that you've got, the heavier it would be. I've only got the weight on the middle row, so that's the bit that's hanging down. Let's see if, but it doesn't restrict any of my movement at the arm or the elbows. It's not like rubbing across my biceps. 
same with sort of a closer grip that doesn't seem to bother it at all but again if you really want to push with your push-ups and uh you want to get into weighted i highly recommend like a little pair of parallettes just so you can then the weighted vest no longer becomes an issue you're then lifting all of the weight as opposed to some of it resting on the floor but when it comes to sort of like the push-up test of it all this is really nice because i said other vests i have have been quite blocky here and then either the weight bit or the actual material rubs against the inside of your arms and it's really not comfortable to use so far actual movement really really good if you want to get yourself a pair of parallettes these are the kenzui nanobars xl recently did a review on them really good for push-ups everything like that so if you want to start doing your weighted push-ups these are a great tool to use so the other area what your training would benefit when using a weighted vest is obviously going to be your leg training so for a lot of people when it comes to doing their legs they'll find body weight squats lunges and that just far too easy so a weighted vest is a really good tool to be able to add to your arsenal to basically start overloading the legs and what's nice about this is because it's such a small doesn't come down too low and it doesn't bulge out too low i've used other vests where as soon as you go down to a deep lunge the actual vest here will be literally on top of your thigh. Or if you're trying to do step ups and you're stepping up and you come all the way down, the weight or whatever gets in the way. It's one of the issues that I do have with the Kenzu Easy Vest, obviously, because you're loading plates on here. Sometimes if the plates are big enough, as you come down, sometimes it can catch your legs if you're doing, say, step ups. But with this, the actual thing doesn't seem to get in the way. If I want to do, it sticks to me. It's comfortable. If you want to do power jumps of these, lunges, this thing isn't moving. It's comfortable and it doesn't restrict my movement, which is what you want from a weighted vest. It's meant to be making you heavier because your body weight is your resistance, but it's not meant to make you move in a different way. That's the benefit of weighted calisthenics is that you're still doing the same movements, but you're making it harder for you to do those same movements. So you get stronger within those movements. If you're wearing a weighted vest, it's meaning that you're having to do pull-ups differently because the material is sticking into your arm. Maybe if you're trying to do lunges or squats and it's getting in the way and it's blocking up and you try and stick your legs out further, that's no good. This weighted vest doesn't make me change what my normal movement patterns would be. It's literally here, it's sticking to my body. I'm able to literally do box jumps and it's stuck to me. I'm able to do handstand push-ups as well. There's no movement you're not going to be able to do with this vest. So I highly recommend any of you that are into weight calisthenics or want to take the next level when it comes to your calisthenics training, get yourself a weighted vest. This one here, again, I got the 30 kilo ones. So it's 139 quid. However, if you're thinking of progressing in the future, I recommend instead of spending 79 for the 10 kilo or 99 quid or 100 quid for the 20 kilo, pay a little bit more and then you've got progressions that will last you for the entirety, probably of how long you want to train for. But remember, your legs are a lot stronger, so having that 30 kilos could be really beneficial. The other thing where you could probably use this, and again, the extra weight would be quite handy, is if you want to go for like a bit of rucking or hiking and really want to sort of burn more calories and make it more challenging. Loading this up with a load of weight will be quite good. Again, if you do the 10 kilos, for most people it will be enough. Maybe if you want to do a little bit of running in that, that might be beneficial enough, but this allows spending the extra money will save you money in the future because you won't have to buy another vest. So guys, let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe because I will be doing a comparison video between this and the Kenzui Easy Vest, so make sure you subscribe for that, and then we'll see which one is gonna be the best for you. Subscribe for that. Make sure to check out the video of I did on the parallettes for the Gravity Fitness and also the pull-up bar and more videos to come. If you wanna check out this product and also use the discount code to save yourself 10%, the links to that will be down below. Check that out and it does help the channel out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.